Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to continue talking about derivatives of inverse trig functions. In the last video, we derived the formulas for sine inverse x, cosine inverse x, and tan inverse x. In this video, we'll be doing some example problems, and most of these example problems will involve the chain rule. Note how all of the derivative templates change when we have an inner function called u. In each of the equations, u is substituted for x, and we also multiply by du dx. Example 1. Find the derivative of y equals sine inverse of 5x. To solve this, we're going to need to use the derivative of sine inverse u which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times du dx. In this case, u equals 5x. So when we substitute that in, we get 1 over the square root of 1 minus the quantity of 5x squared times 5 due to the chain rule. This simplifies to 5 over the square root of 1 minus 25x squared. And that's the derivative. Example 2. Find the derivative of y equals cosine inverse of x squared. To solve this, let's use the template for the derivative of cosine inverse u, which is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times du dx. In this case, u equals x squared. So when we substitute into the template, we get negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus the quantity of x squared squared times 2x by the chain rule. This simplifies to negative 2x over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth, and that's the derivative. Example 3. Find the derivative of y equals tan inverse of e to the x. To solve this, we're going to need to use the template for the derivative of tan inverse of u, which is 1 over 1 plus u squared times du dx. In this case, u equals e to the x, so we get 1 over 1 plus e to the x squared times e to the x because of the chain rule. And this simplifies to e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x. Example 4. Find the derivative of y equals the quantity of sine inverse of ln x squared. To solve this, we'll need to apply the chain rule twice. First, we'll apply the power rule. This gives us 2 times the quantity of sine inverse of ln x. Then we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus the quantity of ln x squared. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x. Now this is an acceptable answer, but we could clean up the problem a little bit, like I've shown here. Alright, let's do one more example. Example 5. Find the derivative of y equals x tan inverse of x. To solve this, we need to apply the product rule. This gives us x times the derivative of tan inverse x, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared, plus tan inverse x times the derivative of x, which is just 1. Then we can write our final answer, dy dx equals x over 1 plus x squared, plus tan inverse x. Well, I hope you now feel a bit more confident with derivatives of inverse trig functions. Just keep on practicing. And that's how you rock calculus.